Marcus Robert Johnson here, and today I just want to talk about headgear. Not this headgear, this headgear. This official, as a whistle, USA Boxing certified headgear. This is, um, you know, this is a pretty typical headgear, aside from it being mine, being through many wars, having blood splatters and all sorts of stuff. My thing, my joint kind of old here, it's kind of rusted and stuff, I need to get me a, another one, but, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Uh, but, if you're planning on fighting, I want to do that, I want to give a little awareness of what the headgear is, what it's for. If you're a boxer, you know, you know everything about it already, probably. But if you're not, I get a lot of questions all the time, do you guys wear helmets and stuff? And, pe this is for people that are not very up on boxing so I, I want to say the headgear is I think it's a good and a bad thing for amateurs I think overall it's a good thing for amateurs the headgear is not gonna stop you from getting knocked out it is not gonna make getting knocked out any easier or harder really um, aside from maybe you know places like your temple being a little less impacted but what I'm saying is this this your neck getting jolted and your brain getting sloshed, um, the nerves in your neck, that's how you're going to get knocked out and this isn't going to stop that. A lot of people think that when they see the headgear in amateur boxing, they just think it's, it's that they're, they're completely safe. And the reason you don't see as many knockouts in amateur boxing isn't because of this headgear, but it's because of it's, it being a short fight. Now, on a, on a lower level, you see a lot of knockouts in amateur boxing, but on an elite open level, you see very few. It's only three rounds, three three-minute rounds, and it's not a lot of time to do your thing, which is why finesse and scoring points is, uh, is more of the criteria than for pros, than what it is for pros. So, what is this for, really, then? What can this do for your boxer? What can this do for boxers in the ring? The biggest thing this thing is going to do right here is going to save you from getting cut and bruised. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing. When they did the uh, nationals this year and stuff, and they had guy or the Olympics and whatnot, and they had guys with no headgear, they, there was a lot of guys that were winning fights and had to quit or the fight had to be stopped or they ended up losing because they got cut. And... The thing about it, you won't see it as much in pros. Like pros, a lot of guys are getting cut from punches. But the thing about amateurs is people people at boxing as an amateur are not as tight yet. When you go pro, you should be ready to go pro. You should be ready to take over the world. You should be tight. You shouldn't be making mistakes. You should be tight. As an amateur, though, I'm going to put this down for a moment. As an amateur, though, this thing is going to stop you from getting cut. People throw wild, crazy punches. People accidentally throw elbows. People aren't aware of their space, so they're in there and they headbutt accidentally, go down and come up. And this is gonna say, I'll put it on real quick just so you can see. That's why I had the hat on, because my hair looking gnarly. Ah. But I ain't even gonna strap it in. I'm just put it on all right. It's the top, front, and back. And you got, see what this does here? Cover my eyebrows. Keep my cheeks in here. Now the bones sticking out, or your 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 bone right on the skin. That's why it's gonna get cut because it's this thin. There's not a lot of meat there. It's just bone skin. So this stops that. This stops that. Even you get headbutted, it stops that. If you get something on top, you might get a bump or something. But this headgear is gonna stop you from getting cut. And overall, that's the biggest thing. It's gonna stop a lot of accidents. And that's essentially what it's for. Um, I really like it in amateur boxing. Give me my hat back in my hair crazy. I really like it in amateur boxing because most people in amateur boxing are new and they're kids. So why not keep them clean? Why not keep them safe as long as you can? If they plan on going pro, they're going to get dinged up anyway eventually. So to make their career and extend the longevity of their life, give them that gear. Uh, that's all I want to say about it. It's not a helmet, you know. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a hat. It's just headgear. Bikes and headgear. And again, it's just going to stop you from getting cut and bruised up so much so you can still look kind of decent. 
I've still gotten, I've seen it happen, and I've still gotten like black eyes with the headgear on. I've still gotten like, I've seen guys get, still get broken nose with the headgear on, still accidentally get cut. It's not, it's not a 100% save all, prevent all, but it does critically increase the durability of yourself because you got that extra layer there. So yeah, that's all I want to talk about. And if you, and if you don't know already, if you're getting into boxing or if you're just trying to start out boxing, if you really plan on fighting, you're gonna have to get this USA certified head gear um, if you want to compete in the, in the amateur bouts, USA boxing sanctioned USA boxing events, because that's what they need. They need to know that this thing is uh, gonna protect you in all formats. It just needs to be designed properly. It needs to have the right padding, made from the right materials, so it's not slipping all over your head. Or you know, it sucks if this thing slips around, you can't see that half a second is down over your eyes. That's that's all it takes. So, uh, yeah. That's all I got for right now, man. So I hope that gives you a little better understanding of headgear and what it's for. Uh, it's, and it's not going to stop you from getting knocked out. If you get hit clean on the button, if it's if it's a good time shot, it's right right place with the right strength, you're going you're going to go. So don't don't feel like that is safe. It's gonna make it's not, it's gonna make you safer, but it's not going to stop you from overall knockout, being knocked out. Amateurs don't get knocked out as much because the fight is short, not because of the head gear. Anyways, Marcus Robert Johnson. You can follow me on Twitter at MRJBoxing. Um, you can follow me on YouTube, Dap Boy Tweak 428 Marcus Robert Johnson Boxing on Facebook. Stay with me if you like me. If this is helping you out, share it with somebody. If you got somebody that doesn't know about it or if you uh, this helps you out in any way, let me know. Pass me around. Peace.